Howdy. Can you tell what I've been doing today? So I thought I would tell you guys some of my spooky experiences, things that I consider to have been paranormal or unexplainable, shall we say. I'm not great at public speaking, so if this is bad, <laughs> I apologise now. Um, I'm going to start with telling you about the three knocks. One night my friend Lisa came to mine for a, a few drinks and we wasn't pissed, we just had a few glasses of wine and I went to the bathroom and whilst I was in the bathroom I heard like three knocks as if it was on wood. So I thought to myself, oh Lisa will answer the front door, I'll find out who it was in a minute. So I finished in the bathroom, I went downstairs and my friend was in the living room on her own. So I said, who knocked on the front door? And she looked at me puzzled and said, what do you mean? I said, somebody knocked on the front door, I heard it from the bathroom. She was like, nobody's knocked on the door. And the living room had the front door directly in the living room, so she would have heard the door. And I was like, huh? I heard three knocks like onward as if it was the front door. And she was like, no. So I was like, oh, okay, that's odd. So later on in the night, um, she went to the bathroom. And then all of a sudden I hear a shout, ha ha, yeah, Emma, very funny. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, where are you? And I'm like, um, I'm still in the living room, Lise. And she's like, oh my God, shit. And then like, she pegs it down the stairs and I'm like, what's that? And she said, I just heard the three knocks, but I thought it was you pissing around knocking on the door. She said, so she come out the bathroom looking at for me again, ha ha, very funny. I was like, it wasn't me. She was like, well, I realized that when I heard your voice downstairs. And I was like, okay, that's a bit weird. Like you heard it, I heard it. So then another time, this is probably about two, three years later, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, my sister's fiance um, passed away suddenly from a heart attack and we was at the wake and my stepbrother said to me, will you come to the bathroom with me? And I was like, okay, why? And he said, I just don't feel comfortable going on my own for some reason. So I said, okay. So I stood the opposite end of the bathroom facing the door while, while he had we. And then just as we was about to come out of the bathroom, we heard, and I just thought to myself, yeah, three knocks again. And he said to me, my stepbrother said, somebody's knocking on Amy's door. I said, that wasn't Amy's door. Amy's door is plastic. That was three knocks like it sounded on wood. And then he looked at me puzzled and went, that was three knocks on wood. I was like, yeah, I've heard those knocks before. So then I kind of explained to him what had happened before. Now, after my sister's fiance had passed, I stopped at my sister's house for a few days. And the one morning, I remember I woke up suddenly and I felt like there was somebody's face like right there. And I looked at the uh, fireplace and her ex-fiance's pictures was on the fireplace and I realized it was like, as if I woke up and his face was there, it was really strange. And I went back to sleep. And then a few hours later, I woke up to the noise of as if the living room door, because I was stopping in the living room, as if the living room door was opening, slowly brushing across the carpet. And it woke me up. So I looked at the door, but the door was closed. And I just thought, okay, that was a bit strange. Went back to sleep. About an hour later, my sister came in the room and says, did you come in my room this morning? I was like, no, why? She says, well, I heard as if the door was opening and brushing across the carpet. And I was like, oh my God, I heard that too, but I hadn't moved, I thought it was you. And then realized that nobody was there and she had exactly the same thing happen to her. Um, so then a few weeks after that, me and my friend was at mine and we was playing some tunes on YouTube and I remember just turning around and looking at the doorway and I thought somebody was stood in the doorway and I was going to ask them what tunes do you want me to put on and then I thought to myself what are you doing there's nobody there there's only me and my friend Kerry and she was sat on the sofa why am I looking at the doorway as if someone's there so much so that I'm going to ask them what songs 
I want them, you know, they want me to put on for them. So I didn't say anything, I just carried on putting tunes on YouTube and then about half an hour later, Kerry, my friend, was on the sofa, sat there and she was like rolling a cigarette and she just stopped and was staring at the sofa the opposite side of the room and I was like, what are you doing? And she said, there's a man sat on that sofa. I was like, what do you mean? She was like, I can see a man sat on that sofa. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't tell you, but about half an hour earlier, I almost asked somebody, thinking that somebody was stood in the doorway, what tunes they wanted me to put on for them. So she was like, oh my God, like, that's really weird. So then a few weeks after that, for my birthday, we had um, a psychic lady come round and a few friends come round and she was sat on the sofa where Kerry saw this man. And after about 10, 15 minutes, the psychic lady said, um, can somebody swap seats with me, please? And I was like, yeah, I can. She says, where I'm sat now, I'm feeling like really oppressed, like as if something is like really like pushing down on me. She said, it, she said, she doesn't get anxiety but she was feeling really really anxious and her heart was racing she thought I need to move out of this chair I can't I can't sit here so I said oh, I'll swap with you and then I sat there and then about 10 minutes later I literally had to move because I felt exactly the same and um, I asked her what she felt in the building and she said that there's a gatekeeper and there was a male presence so yeah that's just a few recent things that i've had happen i've had lots happen in the 24 years since i've left the jehovah's witness religion i was always open-minded towards supernatural things i've had lots that i can't explain i try and explain things away first before i will say it's a ghost or something else and if there's no explanation then I do kind of think it's paranormal. I do have lots more stories to tell. So if this wasn't too bad to bear my storytelling, I will be telling some more because I have plenty to tell. And a few are a bit more freaky than that one. So who knows what I'll look like next time as well. Probably something else spooky. Anyway, thank you for listening. Let me know if you think that there's a reasonable explanation to what happened I'm open minded so yeah so before I go let me tell you why these small incidences were big to me so when I woke up at my sister's and I felt there was a face in my face I looked at the clock and it was 2 o'clock in the morning and my sister asked me what time it was when it happened and I told her and she said that when her fiance couldn't sleep at two o'clock in the morning he would get up and go and sit in the living room so I was like whoa okay and the reason why it kind of made me um, think of him when I turned around to ask somebody what tunes they want on when nobody was there was because when he came to my house he would always stand in the doorways. He very rarely sat down, he would always stand in the doorways. So that just instantly made me think it was him. And me and my friend decided to test the theory. And we went into my bedroom and we sat on my bed. And I had a front door key that was his, that my sister had given me as a spare after he had passed. And we said if you are here with us if you're communicating with us then make this key spin and we literally held it like that on a chain and the key span like mad and literally like holding your arm still so you know you're not moving it the hand wasn't moving and that key was like swinging like crazy and also we went to um a psychic night the same lady that came to mine and my sister was supposed to come with us. I can't remember why she didn't actually come that night. Um, and I think he came through that night because the psychic lady told me some things about him that she wouldn't have known because she didn't know my sister's fiance. And there was one thing that my sister only told me 
and that she'd brought her fiance a coin and she hadn't told anybody else because it was it was a surprise for his birthday and she hadn't told anyone and the psychic lady told me that he was showing her a coin and I was just like wow how would she know about that so I know some people doubt psychics but the ones I've been to she's told them information that they wouldn't have known like little things and when I've been and she's told me stuff I don't answer her questions I'm always like you tell me so no psychic is going to trick me into telling them information that they can work off because I'm just like you tell me I'm not telling you nothing you're psychic you tell me so yeah anyway I'm gonna go now bye